Are you single or would rather play games without your significant other because they suck compared to you since you're a gaming legend? Great, it sounds like you'll enjoy the top 10 free single player itch.io games you don't know about. Valley Peaks is a first person climbing adventure game about scaling mountains to place radio towers in a frog village. It has unique climbing controls where your left click controls your left arm and your right click controls your right arm. You press and hold to grab a rock and release to let go, which allows you to scale up the mountains along with your jump. It sounds simple, but each of the six mountains has multiple climbing routes of varying difficulty, allowing you to pick the difficulty of your climb. This is because of the multiple rock types and interactable elements there are, like rock holds that break after a short time, rock holds that can only be grabbed at a certain time, and jump orbs that give you an extra jump mid-air when collected. It actually feels similar to real rock climbing as you have to figure out how to approach every route. The climbing is super satisfying and even when you fall all the way back to the bottom, all you want to do is try again. Once you do make it to the top, you place a radio tower for the company you work for. There are also a ton of frogs along route paths and around the village that all have charming dialogue. If you're looking for a charming game with excellent climbing mechanics, then I recommend Valley Peaks. My Friendly Neighborhood Basement demo is a horror FPS where you're dropped into a basement full of Muppet-like enemies and have to find a way out. The game is centered around exploration as you have to find out how to progress to the next area by searching around for specific items and solving puzzles. The Muppet enemies are placed around the world and will disturbingly talk about random things and chase you if you get too close. I'm here to educate the children! No, hey, you ain't! You're armed with a pistol type weapon and later a shotgun, but have to keep your eyes peeled for pickups like ammo, health, duct tape, which permanently keeps the enemies wrapped up so they can't attack you upon re-entering a room, and tokens which can be spent on saving the game or healing you. The level design loops back on itself, having you explore the same areas multiple times but with a new goal each time as you get new items to progress. If you're looking for an exploratory survival horror FPS with a disturbing setting and excellent puzzles in combat, then I recommend My Friendly Neighborhood Basement Demo. Sacrifices Must Be Made is a horror card game that was the basis for the game Inscription. Every card has a certain amount of health and attack. Every card is able to be sacrificed in exchange for one blood, so if a card costs one blood, you have to sacrifice sacrifice one of your cards already on the board before it can be played. Some cards have special powers that you have to take into consideration, like the Raven who will directly attack your opponent for damage since it can attack over the enemy card directly in front of it, or the Cat who isn't killed when sacrificed but still gets you one blood point. At the end of your turn, all of your cards attack if they can, damaging enemy cards in front of them or dealing damage to your opponent, filling up the scale. You win by tipping the scale in your favor. Every time you win, you get to pick a new card to add to your deck, creating more card synergies. If you're looking for a spooky card game, with a thought-provoking combat system, then I recommend Sacrifices Must Be Made. Thrombolo is a 2D platformer about jumping through different locations with the goal of reaching the peak of Mount Myocardia. You play as this little blob character named Bolo, who has a sudden desire to climb the mountain. The platforming controls are very tight, you just have a jump and dash, but can only dash in the direction you're facing and can't change the way you face after a wall jump. This makes for fast-paced puzzle-like platforming as you have to figure out where to jump and how to use your dash to complete a section. Each location is a distinct color and adds in a new mechanic like bouncing platforms at a nightclub or conveyor belts at a factory, for example. If you're looking for a tight precision platformer with a vibrant art style, then I recommend Thrombolo. Backpack Hero is an inventory management roguelike where you collect and organize items to defeat enemies in a dungeon. Your backpack starts out very small, only being able to hold a few essential items. In combat, you're able to attack enemies with various weapons you've acquired, block with the shield to give yourself armor, or use some sort of item. Most of these actions have an energy value associated with them, unless it's an item that doesn't cost energy. Enemies will telegraph their next move, so you're able to plan around it. There are also multiple status effects and curses to deal with, making the combat fairly deep. After combat, deciding which items to take and which to leave behind or get rid of in your backpack is a very strategic decision, as items will synergize with one another, leading you to build your inventory a certain way. If you're looking for an inventory management roguelike dungeon crawler, then I recommend Backpack Hero. 
Kill the Koth is a first person climbing game where you play as a bounty hunter on their way to kill an evil king. The world is arid and desolate, having almost no life because the king has hoarded all of the resources for himself, not allowing his citizens to have water. Walls are climbed automatically when walked or jumped into. You have to look around the environment to plan out a route to see if it's possible before climbing. This is because of your limited energy meter that lasts a long time but doesn't allow you to climb forever. You have to be on the lookout for ledges along the way to stand on which refills the meter. There's platforming mixed into the climbing and movement is smooth to control. If you're looking for a simple climbing platformer with an ambient setting then I recommend Kill the Koth. Dome Romantique is a survival game where you dig up materials to upgrade yourself and your dome to fend off hostile alien life forms. You start out pretty underpowered only being able to mine materials slowly and have one weak laser to fend off enemies. <laughs> All of the UI elements and upgrades have to be purchased with yellow ore for upgrades like faster mining, better lasers, and faster flying. You can also buy machines that make use of your other two ores like one that produces a fruit which makes you fly faster and another which consumes an ore to heal your dome. There's a nice push and pull of trying to mine ore quickly while also keeping an eye on how close the monsters are to coming. Though once you get all the upgrades it becomes way too easy since the difficulty doesn't scale properly losing a lot of that tension. If you're looking for a survival game about mining for upgrades, then I recommend Dome Romantique. We Become What We Behold is a disturbing game about how the news creates self-proclaiming cycles. You play as a photographer for an unknown news organization who is only out to capture negatives in the world. <laughs> Even if you try to capture something good, like a peaceful protest, the news won't show it since it doesn't get views. As this abstract misinformation spreads, more and more people gain biases that eventually turns to violence. If you're looking for a game that's America's news in a nutshell, then I recommend we become what we behold. Will You Snail Winter is a 2D platformer where you play as a snail trying to escape an evil AI. The platforming is very precision based and definitely designed to get you to rage a little as you'll die a lot you're able to double jump and move very quickly in the air. The AI commentates on how you're doing and loves seeing you die which only made me want to destroy it more. OMG, why do you keep dying there? He'll do things to try and kill you like turning on fireworks you have to dodge or making it so snowflakes kill you for some reason. If you're looking for a precision platformer with some funny commentary then I recommend Will You Snail Winter. Keymasher Ultimate is a game where you mash all the keys on your keyboard to get rid of robots filling the screen. Each one of your keys acts as a launch pad that will launch a robot off your screen although each key is on a cooldown. As time goes on more and more robots will flood your screen filling up the saturation meter. Once there's too many robots it's game over. Over. Once you get enough points, you pick from a variety of upgrades that replaces one of your keys, turning it from a launcher into an airstrike or a nuke for example. If you're looking for a frantic button mashing game that'll destroy your keyboard, then I recommend Keymasher Ultimate. Those were the top 10 free single player Ichio games you didn't know about. I'll have my playlist of free Ichio games you don't know about linked in the description, as well as my video on free single player games on Steam. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with this ongoing series. Thank you.